So in this segment here, we're going to take a look at how to make quizzes. We can test our students' anatomical knowledge or test them off the content we create within the app through quizzes. So if I go to my atlas here and I go to the filter tool, you'll see that under resources, we have all resources, screens, quizzes, and questions. Before we can make a quiz, first we have to make questions to go into the quiz. So if we go to questions, questions I've created, all models, view content, you'll see here I have a set of questions that I've already created. But if I want to create a new one, I simply go to the green plus icon and I can find a screen that I've made specifically for quiz. So I'll go to my screens and I'll go to what I've tagged under full body. And you can see I have some different screens. I've made this one specifically for a quiz. So if I open that screen, you can see I went in with the model and gave it labels customized with A, B, C, D, etc. And now with that screen, I can create a question. So I can say, what is structure A? And then through these options here, we can add answers, whether they be incorrect or correct. And you just go through and add on as many as you wish. You can also structure the questions differently. Instead of saying, what is structure A? You could say, what is the function of structure A? Give examples. You can also do true and false questions through this essentially because it's just true or false, two different answers. And when you're done, you simply press save. And you'll see that you can save this question to a group We'll just do it in my questions for right now. You can also tag a region to that question to help filter it through easier. And you also have the ability to assign a difficulty to that question. So if it's an easy one, it will be blue as beginner, yellow is for intermediate, and red is for advanced. When you're done, you click save. and it's done. So now we're back into the library of our questions that we've made. We can see the one I just created right here. So we also have the option when we add new questions to not use a screen that we've pre-made, we can also use the model and how it currently is situated in the app. So if I go to the top corner here and use current model, it'll take me to my current model page and how it's set up. You can see I haven't let, added any labels yet. So if you wanted to do that, do that firsthand. But again, you go through the process of then creating a question with the model. The only difference is it's not from a saved screen. So now that you can see I have several different questions here, I can now make a quiz. So if I go to filter and I now go to quizzes, and view content. Here are some quizzes that I've made in the past. To make a new one, just click the green icon. And now we can see different questions here. 3D for Medical has some pre-made questions, which you are viewing at the moment. But if I want to find ones that I made specifically, you just have to go down to my questions. And now you'll see them here. Here's the one that I just made. I click and drag it over and I can continue to do that with each one. You can still mix questions between ones you've made and ones that have been pre-made through 3D for Medical. So I can still click those and drag them in. And when you're all done, all you have to do is hit finish and now we have some options um, on how we can control the quiz. So you can allow for only one attempt or not. 
You can also put a time limit per quiz since we don't control uh, other browsing viewings in the windows of students. Um, you can help adjust the time so that you know they're not going and looking up the answer. With that time limit, you can also set it here, two minutes, one minutes, whatever you would like. You can show the correct answers after each question, shuffle the questions, as well as if you want to use a screen, like a thumbnail for each question, you have that option as well. If you want to, you can list different objectives for the quiz. And then at the very bottom, you can give it Title, enter any description you might want, and hit save. When you hit save, you can save it to a group. So if you wanted to save it to a class group that you have shared with your students, you can add it there or just keep it in my quizzes for now. You can also tag a body region to it to help filter it through when you're looking for it and then hit save. Now it's done. So you'll see now that I have that quiz right here, brand new. If I were a student to pull it up, I would simply click on it, hit this play button. And now you'll get questions, they'll answer them, submit, continue. And you just kind of go through it. Obviously, I'm not trying very hard. There, and when you're finished, it'll come out, tell you what score you got, and you can check your answers as well. You're also able through our assessment dashboard to view the results of these quizzes, um, keep track of what your students are scoring, on each one um, and help put that into your grade book.